It is hunting season in BC. Mushroom hunting season, that is, as the fall is cooler and wetter weather brings the perfect conditions for the fungi to sprout everywhere, from the forest to your own backyard in my case. But before you just go using the mushrooms you find in your next meal, it's important to know that certain mushrooms are deadly. In fact, BC is home to the deadliest mushroom in the world, the death cat mushroom. And with more people getting outside because of the pandemic, the BC Center for Disease Control recently issued a warning about the fatal fungi that likes to grow in urban areas on Vancouver Island and throughout the lower mainland. So we turn to foraging expert and local chef Robin Coase to help us identify mushrooms that we can eat and ones that could potentially be dangerous. There's very few super, super deadly mushrooms. Uh, most, most mushrooms of the like 10,000 species in BC are innocuous uh, and then a good amount of them are, are edible to varying degrees depending on if you like the taste of them. I mean there's ones that taste like seafood, there's ones that taste fruity, there's nutty, there's spicy ones. Robin is actually the owner of Swallowtail Tours which takes people out into the forest and shows them the difference between edible mushrooms and the poisonous lookalikes. And so she took us out to find some of the more common mushrooms in the area. Voila! Sure, chanterelles. <laughs> so this is a chanterelle mushroom. It is edible and choice. And how you identify him is by his blunt gills. Um, and the gills kind of fork at the rim or the margin of the mushroom. And it also has a wavy cap margin. There are ones that can look like this that can give you problems with um, stomach upsets and all that sort of thing. So you do have to know uh, poisonous lookalikes for this one. So that's a conch. Okay. So um, again, sort of a general category. See, it's conch because it's, you know, super hard. Hmm. Some of these, um, depending on their genus and species, can be used medicinally, but uh, none of them um, that I know of are edible. This is the Alice in Wonderland mushroom, right? Yeah. It's, you know, where she took a bite to become small or to become big, right? That's the classic storybook mushroom. Uh, it is toxic, so don't do that. So this is one of the most um, easily seen mushrooms in the Vancouver area, the Victoria area, in urban settings frequently. So this is Amanita muscaria, and it's a white gilled mushroom with a ring and a vulva. So this this basal ball or a little bloop at the bottom of the stem is really important to identifying Amanita genus mushrooms. And some of the most toxic mushrooms like the death cap have that basal ball. And while Robin says that smell, touch, markings, and even the shape can be ways to help identify mushrooms, sometimes that isn't enough. Is there anything to look for to tell for sure if a mushroom is poisonous or not? So there are no hard and fast rules, no. So, it, I mean, that's why mushroom foraging is really something that you have to learn slowly over time. So Robin suggests first-time foragers should pick mushrooms that are easy to identify and that don't have poisonous lookalikes like hedgehog or oyster mushrooms. She adds you should always cook them before eating them and when in doubt, throw them out.